What is going on to all of you guys out there? It's your girl, V here, and I am back with another video. And today we are experiencing day four of Argentina. Let me get the sun. Of Argentina Bay V. And today, my baby plan an amazing day. We're visiting three cities. Well, three neighborhoods, rather. Delmo. Saltemo. La Boca, which is Caminito. Caminito is located. Caminito. And Puerto Madero. And Puerto Madero. And uh, we're gonna get jump right into it. We just had an amazing breakfast. Check it out. At this spot called Surrey Hill Coffee. And we just ordered some food. I got mean avocado toast and I got on the side of an almond croissant that looks so 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 good. I'm gonna share this avocado toast right here. But you haven't had your first bite yet, huh? I had my first bite. I forgot to tune y'all in. But babe, you need a, you gotta show them your first bite. This is my second bite. <laughs> this is my spot. Me. My spot. I found this spot. Me. All by myself. <laughs> Isn't it so nutty and <laughs> nutty, crunchy, smooth? It just has it all. Huh? This is avocado toast with hummus, a poached egg, um, avocado spread, of course, cranberries, nuts, like dipping seeds. Mmm. Mmm. Mm -hmm. And now it's time to walk it off and explore. And our first neighborhood we're in is Saltelmo, okay? By which is the oldest barrio. So barrio just means neighborhood. So check it out with me. Let's go. All right, Betty Riders, Nancy and I are having a good time here in Saltelmo. A lot to see, a lot to shop, a lot to eat. But we're just kind of like sightseeing right now. I took a lot of nice pictures of under some umbrellas that were in the air, which reminds me of Gethsemane. You guys remember when we was walking the streets of Gethsemane? They had umbrellas, yeah. In the, um, kind of like hanging from the sky. And I thought that was like a cute little decor, cute little photo west moment. So of course we had to stop and take some pictures. <laughs> so check those out. And now we're gonna continue our journey just looking at some talk San Telmo a little more before we check out the next Ooh, neighborhood. Alright, so right now we're at Mercado San Telmo. This is on the list for today's agenda. Let's get it. So right now we are still in Buenos Aires. Mm. We're at Mercado San Telmo. This is on the list. We just left the Plaza de Rigo. Uh, right now we're on Defensa Street. This is where everything takes place in San Telmo. Banisteres, which is the oldest neighborhood in Buenos Aires. Follow me. Yes, we are, baby. We're following you, baby. <laughs> right here, we have some of the best empanadas known to human kind. Ooh. Um, if you're ever in San Temo, you have to stop by this and place get to get you some empanadas. Empanada. Perfectly chicken empanada. Follow me. Si, si. This is the Mercado. It is crowded, congested, people are outside, baby. They outside. What's up, new fam? Victory Riders. We're still in San Thelmo, which is the oldest neighborhood in Buenos Aires, Argentina. Right now, we are currently at the most narrow house in the world, according to some people, according to some reports. How convenient that these street signs tell you the walking distance. But like for me and Dante, this is six minutes to get to Plaza Dorego. If Dante and I, we can do that minute in three minutes. Do that walk in three minutes. <laughs> and then the Plaza de Mayo was a nine minute walk. But for Dante and I, we do that walk in four, baby. Stop playing with the news, baby. Stop.
All right, Vicky Riders, I'm checking back in. All right, Vicky Riders, I'm checking back in. <laughs> Dante and I have left San Delmo. Victoria and I have left San Delmo. And we was going to do, what's that seaward? El, El Caminito. El Caminito. Yes. Pero, it's muy peligroso. It's very dangerous there, according to like reports that I've seen online. So Dante was like, you know what? Let's just go to the next city, well, neighborhood, which was Puerto Madero. And that's where we are now. We're currently walking around Puerto Madero. And we are going across a bridge called the Women's Bridge. Okay? La Mujeres. Si. Get it. Mira. Puente de la Mujer. And in English, is Bridge of the Women. towards Florida Street. That's kind of in the area of Plaza de Mayo. We're here on day two. Okay, so we're heading back in that direction because we didn't explore it thoroughly. So there's more to explore in that area. All right, Victory Riders. Dante and I just secured our tickets here at the Tango Bordino spot because tonight at 10 o'clock, yes, 10 p.m., we will return back to this location for a Tango show and that's gonna be absolutely wild because Dante and I be an hour at the 10. What? And it's an hour and a half, so it won't be done till 11:30. Absolutely wild, but we like when in Buenos Aires, you have to do it. And we are super pumped, so excited. Don't know what to expect because all we have taken is salsa lessons, so we don't know anything about tango. When we go back to Santa Fe, we're definitely take some tango lessons, and that's gonna be super exciting because we saw an amazing show. So then it'll be great to learn like kind of what they did. So I'm looking forward to that, and I can't wait. There go, baby. Ready to go, baby. Oh, no, I was just coming over here to say hi. Yeah. All right, we're about to get some food. I was explaining to them how it's going to be exciting because we don't know anything about the tango because all we've learned was salsa. That's all we know about salsa. So it's going to be exciting to see what's in store for tonight, and I but can't it, wait. But keep in mind, it's not just salsa. It's a tango, tango. show. Not just salsa or tango. It's a tango show. Yeah, so they're about to put on, maybe it's going to be like a whole skit. I mean, it's gonna be more than just dancing. It may be a whole play, a whole like Broadway storyline. Yeah. Oh my goodness! Now I'm even more excited. Anyways, I'll tune you guys in. Obviously, I'm, I can't. I probably can't record inside, so you'll probably get a recap either tonight if I have energy, because we're not gonna leave till 11:30. So either I'll give you, give you guys a recap tonight or tomorrow. Either way, I'll let you guys know everything that we've seen. Well, off to dinner, and I'll see you guys shortly. All right. Hi. Dante and I, like I mentioned, are staying out late tonight and we are struggling to keep our phones alive because every turn we want to take a picture, we want to take a video because it's just so beautiful out here. So that is a tip. Like, when traveling and going to be out all day, like, don't forget your chargers and an outlet converter because obviously, you know, the country, so the outlets will be different. All right? That's our mistake. We don't have an outlet converter for this country. And we didn't even got charges. <laughs> yeah, we were messing up. The lights are on. Look at that. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh yeah, and advertisements are on it. So the wow, time nice. is drawing near. It is like 8.18. So we have a good hour and some change before our tango show. It's at 10 o'clock in the evening. I'm trying to power through. I'm about to get some churros to kind of like Get some energy from that sugar to keep us up for the show. It's gonna be a good night. Buenos Aires at night is just so beautiful. It definitely, like that said, is giving you like New York vibes. The sun is setting, or the sun has set. The sky is beautiful, the lights are on. All right, the buildings are lit. And yeah, like I'm super excited. I'm, su I'm surprised at this, this was energy at 8.18. I feel like once it's 10 o'clock, I may crash, so I'm gonna make sure I have some chocolate. Don't put the energy out there. I'm gonna have chocolate and some churros by my side to keep me up during the tango show. I'm not even gonna lie, this street right here is absolutely lit, absolutely popping. I can't believe Dante and I, in our research before we came here, didn't see any bloggers like raving about this street. Like, there's so much going on. People are like, 
entertaining with music. People are doing demonstrations like new, uh, magic shows. People are selling things. There's Evan, restaurants and Evan stores. The lights Korean are on. Thing. And it's just absolutely a vibe. That's your move? There you go. There goes your shoulder move. I know I've been telling y'all I've been in Buenos Aires, right? Argentina, right? Yo, look at this. Juanito Martinez. I thought I was in LA for a second, yo. Look at this. Juan Sergio. Yo, they got stars on the floor out here. Like, me in Hollywood, baby. I thought we in Buenos Aires. <laughs> Okay, so we just made it inside of the Tango Theater and it's absolutely stunning. Like, the views here are lovely. We had the option on coming early and having dinner, but then Dante and I said no because we just didn't think. We didn't think we'll enjoy the food because, like, the menu was really limited. But a lot of people were here, so look at they were enjoying the food. Actually, look like they really enjoyed the food. They are digging it. They feel empty. <laughs> Anyways. So, the show's gonna start any minute now. It's 9.30. And we shall wait. But I think we can record, so I'm gonna give you guys a little snippets of what I see. But I also gotta enjoy it too. Maybe I'll see it. Let's look like at a whole show. Huh? It's more than dance, it's like a whole skit. Alright y'all, it is after 11, the show is over, as you can see it's 11.51 and our butts are still out because we are on, <laughs> no I'm kidding, I'm so fake, I'm tired, okay, but I just want to come to camera and say that the show is absolutely great, I would have just enjoyed it more if it was during the daytime or if I just wasn't so tired because your girl is tired. But, we have these lovely pictures you can walk away with. Okay, quick tip about going to a tango show. The tango show was about $50 in American dollars. And this photo right here. Well, no, $50 between Dante and I together. About, about $25 each, Dante and I. And this photo right here was $20. <laughs> so pretty much, to buy a photo, you're pretty much buying another ticket. Overall, the show was spectacular. They gave different numbers different dancers, different styles of dancers and people doing their thing. Absolutely incredible. And I give it a great solid 10. I just would have enjoyed it more if I was up and I wasn't. Anyways, saying all I say, we had an amazing fourth day in Argentina, baby. And stay tuned for our last day the show tomorrow. Was on. The Stay lights were on, the singer was on, the, the, the dancers were on. Oh yeah, it was more than just dancing, it was, a, it was singing yeah. too. It was a show. Yeah, it was really a show. I was expecting a play, because at first in the beginning, it started out with like a, a little drunk dancer, like just like drunk on stage. And I'm like, oh, it's going to be a whole like Tyler Perry production. But, <laughs> but it wasn't a Tyler Perry production, but it was, um, it was in their own unique Argentinian oh, style. Well, stay tuned for day five of Argentina, baby. It's our last day of Argentina. Vamos Argentina. Vamos Argentina. Soy Argentina. Buenas noches. So, stay tuned for tomorrow, y'all. You know I love you. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in day five. Bye! Bye.